Rising Wave is a cloud-native streaming database that uses SQL as the interface. It is designed to reduce the complexity and cost of building real-time applications. Rising Wave consumes streaming data, performs continuous queries, and updates results dynamically. Today, we'll go over how to create materialized views with Rising Wave. For this demonstration, I'll be using content delivery network metrics as our sample data. This is the same workload generator used in our server performance anomaly detection tutorial, which can be found on our documentation site. Once the streaming source and workload generator are started and we've established a connection to the source, we can start creating materialized views. In order to create a materialized view, we use the create materialized view command followed by a select query where the source is specified. For the first materialized view, high util TCP metrics, we'll use data streams as a source. This materialized view will track all relevant TCP values. Materialized views are pre-computed datasets derived from a query and kept for use later. Since results are pre-aggregated, querying from a materialized view is faster than querying from a table. Then, as new data comes in, the materialized view gets updated as Rising Wave performs incremental aggregations on only the new data, which decreases processing time. With Rising Wave, we can create materialized views with complex joins and time window functions at low latency. For a thorough guide on joins and time window functions, check out the documentation at risingwave.dev where we go into more detail. We can create another materialized view, this time using the materialized view we just created as the source. Again, we'll be using the create materialized view command along with the select query where we specify the source as high util TCP metrics. The source materialized view is the upstream view, while the newly created materialized view is the downstream view. As the values of the upstream view are updated with incoming data from the source, the downstream view will also update accordingly. Finally, we can also create materialized views using tables as the source. For this demo, I'll create a table based on the downstream materialized view we just made. Then I'll create a materialized view that queries the largest trigger value. To show that the materialized view updates, we'll insert a new row into the table that has a greater trigger value than the previous max. Once we query from the materialized view again, we see that the results are updated. If you're interested in learning more about Rising Wave, check out our GitHub to access the source code, risingwave.dev for the Getting Started Guide, documentation, and tutorials, and our website at risingwave-labs.com for blog posts, events, and more. Also, consider joining our community on Slack where you can chat more with other Rising Wave users and developers. You can join Slack with the invitation link on risingwave-labs.com. Hope to see you there.